How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing something a bit different than what we usually do on the channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first time opening of this Bahama Fans 16 inch desk fan. I picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace today for $10 and I went and picked it up and this fan is new in box, never been used and just sat there. When I talked to the people that had it, they said they just had it in their closet and they bought it thinking they'd use it. And that time never came for them to pull it out, assemble it, and use it. So it was just taking up space and they decided to sell it. And that's where I came in because I bought it. Anyway, I saw this on Facebook Marketplace and I wanted it because Bahama Fans, that company, they only specified in making ceiling fans. That was their main specialty. They made ceiling fans from the 1980s all the way into the 1990s, which I believe they quit in the late 90s. But the most interesting is, thing is, it's interesting to see that brand, Bahama Fans, on a portable fan, like a desk fan. That's what caught my eye. And then on top of that, you can see the base. That base style is derived from Canada from the super brand same thing with the blades and the cages and all those buttons right there so it's interesting cuz the fan itself is a rebrand from a different manufacturer but it has some Canadian DNA with the base and the design and everything and all my life I've been trying to find a desk fan with that uh, bad stock so as soon as saw, saw the listing for this I was like holy crap I need this because you can't really find much of the Canadian super fans with that base or just fans in general with that base here in the states like they mainly did that up north in Canada and up in the northern parts of the US like because like all the Canadian fans of course they'll migrate down into the US and shit like that excuse my French um well, I guess I'll show you the box. So yeah, this thing has SMC blades. Or no, not SMC. Well, that's that's actually who manufactured this, I meant to say. But it has super DNA with the bad, with the blades, the cages, and the base. This is a 16-inch oscillating desk fan, model TF-16. UL listed, of course. I believe this is mid to early 90s because i know bahama they did that in the 90s so po box number i guess that number is scratched out looks like it was like it was a sticker from the store oakland i guess either canada or i don't think that's new orleans or else it'd say uh louisiana which i, w I would be shocked if that came from here Made in China, you know, you're good. China Pride. Manufactured by SMC, SMC Shell, Manu Shell Electric Manufacturing Holdings Company Limited. Interesting. And then here's the store tag. Payless Cashways. Registered trademark. And I can't see the date. There's some printing right there that I can't read, so. So yeah, that's the front of the box. This focus is being annoying. Okay, here's the first side. Got some tape right there, some staples, same pictures. And then down here, modern white epoxy mesh guard, three speed push button switch, adjustable neck for 90 degree os auto oscillating, powerful and precise whisper motor in quiet operation. Model TF-16. Here's the other side, which is the same thing. But up here, there's like a, a shipping lot number, I guess from the store. And then, here's the top. You saw the other side, here's the other panel. Fragile. Or, looks like the E scratch out, so it's another F. That's funny. You know, that might actually be a typo. It's supposed to say fragile, but it says fragile. That's funny. And then, oh, warranty notice. Do not discard this carton. 
Warranty and servicing require return of goods in the original carton. And it says don't, has a don't cut symbol right there. This box is in pretty good condition for a 90s fan, I will admit. Of course, it does have your handling issues and all that, but you gotta give it some credit. It's, it's, it's lasted the years. And then the other side is the same. Um, I guess I'll show you the bottom. There's not really, not really much to show. Just standard cardboard. I wanted to show the bottom just in case there wasn't a date code or anything. All right, I guess it's time for us to dig into this thing. Open the flaps here. Oh yeah, and then right there, it's the ship too. In case this was shipped to like a customer or a business or something. All right, here's the contents of the box. Here we got our motor and our original plastic right here. That's nice, looks like these are our grills. Go ahead and start pulling everything out. Ah, yes, this looks like our front grill. Let's see how this puppy opens up. Oh, no, you just pull it out. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Ah, there's the front grill. That's the front grill. And then there's the nice badge. It says Bahama fans. With a nice 90s, ultra 90s. Uh, what is it? the uh, badge vents like right here for example i have another 90s 16 inch that's a tatung right here and as you can see it has the exact same thing that was a super super 90s thing that they did on all the fans okay so there's the front grill all nice no bends no rust all clean it's doing the bag Next, this is the back rear grill. Rear grill and the blade, I, pres I presume. Yep, I was right. Rear, the blade set, and the grill. This cardboard's getting stuck. Oh, come on, you. I might have to set this down, so... I can get working with this. There we go. Set these boxes over here up against the Lasco. And perfect. All right. There's the blade set. It's very nice. And it looks like, I am correct, looks like the super blade sets that they used in the 90s. Then here's our back grill. And there's a little, we have a little camper. There's a little silverfish right there. But I'm wasting video time. All right, there's our grills and our blade set. But now, time to, here is the fan itself. Look how clean this thing is. Still in the original bag. Oh, nice has your blade set those bearings look pretty good for its age all right and then last but not least the book and the paper this is old old paper i'll stay open three speed oscillating table fan operating instructions it shows you how to assemble it Cleaning, be sure to unplug from the electrical supply, all that. Operation, operating instructions. Oh, wow. They actually made, they have the models, the TF-12 and the TF-16. They actually had a 12-inch model of this. Wow. That's awesome. I'd like to find that to have them matching. And then that's really all that's left on the little booklet on the paper. I'm going to keep this in the box since how old it is. All right. Well, might as well start unwrapping. Look how beautiful this is. All right, I'm gonna put the camera back on its stand, and we're gonna start assembling. How's that?
get this guy out of the paper. And look at this. Wow. Brand new. It still has the the paper on it. I'm gonna leave that on. And the buttons. They work flawlessly. Of course we're sitting those springs are getting a little rough, but still. For a brand new fan, this is pretty good. It's top heavy from there's no weight being on the front. But yeah. And then another, this is, all right. This is a really, really cool option. Oscillator knob works. Sorry, my ADHD is making me bounce off the walls. Anyway, like I was saying, what's really cool about these super made fans is they actually have cord storage in the back. You see that? That's the cord. That's awesome. So yeah. Now, before I run out of video time, I'm gonna start assembling. I will do an in-depth review of the fan. I'm not gonna run the fan in this video since it's already a 12 minute video, but I will do assembly in this video. So that's what we're gonna do next. Uh, depending on how long this takes, we might run it, do its first run on film. So, got my trusty pocket knife. It's a Kershaw brand for all those knife collectors out there. And we're gonna cut this plastic to get these grills off. I, I mean, I will keep the plastic because I'm a freak like that. So this plastic is not gonna be thrown away. It's gonna go in the box. Next, here's the blade set. I'm gonna get this guy undone, which that's convenient, has a twisty tie. And out comes the blades. Very, very, very pretty blade set. Look at that. Shiny, completely balanced, untouched. This is pretty awesome. And now the front grill and the badge. And boom. There's another close up of the badge. I'll show you that one. Show the badge. Outside of the plastic. Tiny little Bahama fans logo. But hey, what works, works. So, all right. Time for assembly. I'm gonna go ahead. Bring this guy over here. And then, gonna start, I might need to, oh, I'm turning it the wrong way. There we go. Drop that. Here's the blade nut, if you wanna see that. Pretty nice. Now, oh, this cage nut is very, very smooth. Okay, let's start assembling her. Rear grill on first, with a nice handle in the back. That's gonna go on first. Next is the nut, cage nut. Nice and snug. Next comes the blade set. That fits on very nice. And then finally, the front grill. And what's interesting is, oh, hold on. I accidentally put on the rear grill backwards. Well, no I didn't because the handle's up. I was wrong. The little clip fastener, usually on other fans, as you can see, on that Lasco too, it's on the top. But on this one, it's on the bottom. That's even more interesting. So, all right. 
back to our regular scheduled programming. The blade set's gonna go on. And then the front grill. Open up all these slots. And she is assembled. Would you look at that? Make sure all these are fastened. Keep the grills on. And, oh, forgot one thing. Holy crap. The only vital thing for this fan to run. My silly goose. I forgot the blade nut. There we are, nice and snug. Do a bearing test. And wow, that spin down is pretty good for a brand new fan. Very nice. And no further ado, the final grill for the final time. Make sure it's straight, stick it down in there. There we go. Come to think of it, I might, depending on how the video is doing. I don't know if I'll... do a review video. I might just do the review video on here. Nah, I'm gonna do a separate video. Alright. She is fully assembled and ready to go. So now, all we need to do is... everything back in the box. I'm going to keep the box. Watch out for my knife. It's dangerous having an open knife on the floor. And now she's ready. So what I'm going to do now is get the cord, pull it out for the first time. That's convenient. 